they said it was impossible. That perpetual motion was a fantasy. But today, deep inside American garages, labs, and backyards, a quiet revolution is happening. Ten self-powered cars, no charging, no gas, no limits. And they're not concept dreams, they're real, tested, and driving on U.S. roads right now. Cut to dramatic visuals of futuristic cars moving silently across highways, headlights slicing through the night, the whispered revolution. It all started in the most unexpected way. A small workshop in Arizona, owned by a retired aerospace engineer named Thomas Reed, was the first to make headlines. Using a modified electromagnetic drive inspired by Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered blueprint, Reed successfully converted his old 2017 Tesla Model 3 into a self-sustaining power system. The car ran continuously for 12 weeks. No plug-ins, no solar panels, just pure internal regeneration. When local reporters arrived to film it, Reed said something unforgettable. They called it impossible until the wheels kept turning. His success sparked a wildfire across America's underground innovation community, a network of engineers, mechanics, and clean-tech enthusiasts who began experimenting with the concept of closed-loop energy vehicles. Ten conversions that changed everything. One by one, the stories began to emerge. In Florida, a group of marine engineers converted a Toyota Prius using a micromagnetic resonance coil, allowing it to generate continuous torque without external charge. In Texas, a university research team secretly tested a Chevrolet Bolt that ran solely on electromagnetic induction, logging over 3,000 miles before anyone realized it had never been plugged in. Then came California, where an ex-Tesla employee known only as J uploaded footage of a completely self-powered Model S prototype. The video, though quickly deleted, was downloaded by thousands. The caption read, This is what they don't want you to see. The Hidden Race as whispers of these successful conversions grew, corporate eyes began to turn. Companies like Tesla, Ford, and Rivian quietly dispatched analysts to investigate. Some conversions were dismissed as hoaxes. Others mysteriously disappeared from public record. But a few, the most advanced, caught the attention of U.S. energy regulators. According to leaked internal reports, at least 10 verified cases of functioning self-powered EVs have now been documented across multiple states using various principles. Electromagnetic induction feedback loops, regenerative torque amplification, microplasma energy modules, vibration to electric feedback resonance systems, all of them achieving the same impossible result, a car that doesn't need charging, the African blueprint. When reporters started tracing the origins of these technologies, a single name kept appearing, Maxwell Chikambutso. His earlier work on self-powered vehicles and magnetic generators had been dismissed by mainstream media until U.S. innovators began replicating similar designs. Footage surfaced of an American inventor admitting, we didn't copy Maxwell's work, we built on it. But yes, his concept opened the door. Soon, a quiet acknowledgement spread to the engineering world. Africa had lit the spark, and now America was catching the fire. Elon Musk's silent observation. Though Elon Musk never commented publicly, insiders at Tesla revealed that engineers were running closed-loop energy simulations eerily similar to Maxwell-inspired designs. Leaked documents from a California facility mentioned the term Project Resonance, believed to be Tesla's experimental division testing self-powered drive systems. We can't stop this, one email allegedly said. If the small labs can do it, it's already too late to contain. The disappearances. It didn't take long for things to turn strange. Within weeks of the 10th confirmed self-powered car being spotted in Nevada, several inventors began to vanish from online spaces. Their YouTube channels, TikTok profiles, and GitHub pages all deleted overnight. The most public case was that of Dr. Reed, the retired engineer from Arizona. After an interview with a local journalist went viral, his garage was reportedly raided by unidentified officials. Neighbors described black vans, plainclothes officers, and a truck marked as utility service. By morning, Reed was gone. His workshop emptied. His car missing. Yet one thing remained. A single note scribbled on his whiteboard. They can take it, but they can't stop it. The secret footage. A week later, 
A USB drive appeared in the inbox of an independent tech journalist in Colorado. Inside was footage, dated only three days before Reed disappeared. It showed his car running under full load for hours, headlights on, dashboard streaming data, battery percentage locked at 100%. At one point, Reed turns to the camera and says, It's not about the car anymore. It's about freedom and they know it. That video, now circulating through encrypted groups on the dark web, has been dubbed Freedom Drive. The U.S. engineers counter move. After weeks of silence, whispers started leaking from inside major American energy research facilities. Teams of engineers, including former NASA specialists and Tesla Energy staff, have been quietly investigating how these self-power conversions worked. One insider referred to the study as Operation Loop. The goal, understand how electromagnetic resonance could sustain motion, reverse engineer the circuit arrays seen in Reed's footage, determine if Maxwell's magnetic feedback principle was the missing piece. A quote from one internal email read, We are either on the brink of infinite energy or the greatest cover-up in technological history. The African link strengthens. Across the Atlantic, whispers in Harare and Johannesburg hinted that Maxwell Chikambutso himself had been contacted by U.S. researchers. A leaked document suggested an informal invitation was extended to Maxwell to visit an American innovation facility under pretext of technical collaboration. But those close to him advised caution. Maxwell has seen this pattern before, a close friend said. They ignore you until they need you. Despite this, Maxwell's recent prototype, a next-gen self-powered truck, had quietly completed a 400-hour endurance run, drawing attention from scientists worldwide. His team released a statement online. Energy belongs to humanity, not to corporations. Within hours, the post vanished. Elon Musk breaks the silence. Then came the moment no one expected. At a Tesla event in Nevada, a journalist asked Musk directly about closed-loop self-powered EV technology. Instead of denying it, Elon smirked. Let's just say if infinite energy exists, Tesla won't be last to find it. The audience laughed, but to those following the story, his tone wasn't humorous. It was cautious, almost like he knew something more. Moments later, a tweet appeared from a tech insider claiming that Tesla's secret project, Resonance, had entered testing phase in an undisclosed facility in the desert, using magnetic drive modules similar to Maxwell's early blueprints. Coincidence? Unlikely. The silent race for infinite energy. What's happening now is beyond any company or government. Across the U.S., small independent labs are popping up, some in warehouses, others in home garages, all experimenting with variations of self-powered systems. Most use electromagnetic resonance, while others rely on plasma field loops or nanocapacitor energy mirrors. The results vary, but progress is undeniable. One experimental vehicle in Utah recently reported zero energy, decay over 500 miles, verified by three independent witnesses. Meanwhile, social media platforms are quietly suppressing posts related to infinite energy EVs. Entire hashtags vanish overnight. Videos showing working prototypes mysteriously disappear or are marked as misinformation. Yet every time they delete one, ten more reappear. The turning point. As of now, evidence suggests the world stands on the edge of a massive energy awakening. The question isn't if self-powered cars exist. It's how long they can be hidden. Some experts believe 2026 will be the year the first public demonstration happens. Possibly in Africa, led by Maxwell himself in partnership with a group of international engineers who vowed to release the design's open source if anything happens to him. Because this time, it's not just about innovation. It's about liberation. The demonstration that changed everything. It happened quietly. No flashy media event. No government approval. Just a single live stream from Harare titled, For Humanity. On that day... Maxwell Chikambutso stood before a crowd of local engineers, journalists, and students. Behind him was the same truck that had been rumored for months. His self-powered electric vehicle, completely independent of external charging. With a calm voice, he addressed the crowd. They said it couldn't be done. They said energy can't come from nothing. But this isn't nothing. It's the hidden harmony of nature. 
Today we set it free. He turned the key. The truck came alive. No fuel. No plug. Just pure, silent motion. It drove for 24 hours straight, around the city outskirts, under full load. Headlights blazing. Sensors recording. Live streamed to millions worldwide. The results were undeniable. Energy output, constant. Power decay, zero. Skepticism, shattered. By the time the test ended, over 120 million viewers had witnessed the event live. The aftershock. Within days, headlines around the world exploded. Maxwell's self-powered vehicle breaks the laws of physics. Elon Musk calls emergency meeting following African EV revelation. U.S. energy officials demand independent review of infinite drive technology. In a private interview leaked later, Elon Musk admitted, Maxwell's work is decades ahead. If verified, it could render our global charging networks obsolete. For once, the tech titans sound humbled, maybe even inspired. The world reacts. Governments scramble to understand what they had just witnessed. Some call for bans on unverified energy devices. Others offered partnerships, funding, and patents worth billions. But Maxwell refused every offer. This technology doesn't belong in vaults or corporate labs, he said. It belongs in schools, villages, and homes. He released the core schematics of his energy converter online under an open-source license. Within 48 hours, the file had been downloaded over 5 million times. Tiny workshops in Kenya, India, Brazil, and the Philippines began recreating the design. In weeks, dozens of functioning prototypes appeared. Energy freedom was no longer an idea. It was a movement. The final message. Months later, as the world shifted to adjust, Elon Musk made one last public statement about Maxwell. History will remember him as the man who gave humanity back its power, literally. Maxwell, now a global icon, chose to step away from the spotlight. His factory in Harare became both a research center and a symbol, the world's first infinite energy car factory. Inside it, students and engineers from around the world worked side by side, refining what he had started. And just above the main entrance, carved in metal, were the words that began it all, energy for humanity, forever. Years later, when people look back on the moment the world changed, they won't remember the corporations, the governments, or even the skeptics. They'll remember one man's courage, and the factory in Africa where the impossible became real a place where machines ran endlessly, where the hum of power filled the air, and where humanity finally learned the future doesn't run on oil. It runs on truth.